Yes, people. Yes, people. Welcome to another episode of Free Smoke, Free Smoke, Free Smoke podcast. Okay. This is season two, episode three. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm here with my co-host, you know what I'm saying? He can introduce himself. Yeah, it's your boy, Didi, a.k.a. the people's choice of voice. Let's go. Let's go, you know what I'm saying? You already know who I am, Millie Wayne, you know what I'm saying? A.k.a. Earl Mill. Big up Jabba Jones, he's not here today, you know what I'm saying? What's his name? Host of the most? Main stage. main stage Main stage You know what I'm saying Big up main stage He ain't here You know what I'm saying Bear love he's, he's working So he ain't here today But today we got a big guest Big 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 guest Special guest Came you know what I'm saying To show love to um, Free Smoke Podcast So without further ado Who we got in the building Magic Souls You don't know PDC No already man PDC One of the pioneers Of this thing here. Get to know Definitely Facts <clears throat> So just yeah Straight from the rip How did you get your name Magic Souls um, it actually came from Tanner. <laughs> Funny enough, it was a story. Obviously, what, what, it was the what Tanner? Uh, Mantana. Mantana Man, from Mantana PDC. PDC. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's for the um, viewers' purposes. Yeah, I yeah. will know, but so, they yeah, won't. Yeah, yeah. Mantana from PDC. Yeah. Obviously, they when him and my brother and they started their rap stuff. Mm. They was rapping. Obviously, he used mm. to always see that I was interested in like. Rapping and he used to see, he used to always say, "Oh, now you got lyrics and you know I'm shy." And no, mm. no, no, I ain't got nothing. But I was writing, but I wouldn't ever say nothing. And then mm. I think the actual time he, he, he caught me and said, "Oh, now just spit a little something." I think I rapped a little something that I had, and he was like, "Ah," oh. he's mm. like, "Yeah, yeah, now just souls." And then I was just <laughs> like, "Ah, oh, that sound, that sound, that sound, that, that works." So I was just yeah. like, "Ah, oh, cool." So if I, if if I don't know if you've been under a rock, this is the brother of. Judge of Souls. Judge of Souls. So he just naturally named you after yeah, your brother. He just, he just yeah. Okay, he yeah, that's like, nice. Yeah, that's nice. Big up Tanner. He said Naja of Souls. So I was like, okay, cool. Run mm. with it. Man, that's cool. So your brother was born in Birmingham. Was you born in Birmingham too? Yeah. Was that your place of birth? Yeah. Did you Birmingham. go to school up there too? Um, Yeah. But when we left, I was like, I'm going to say six or seven. So okay, so I you was, came down I, young. Yeah, Did I just you had a short Did you do a little bit of primary school up there? Yeah. Okay. Short burst in primary school. And then, and, all that. and then, yeah. When you came straight down, you came to. I was. We came straight to Brixton Hill, Stratham, um, mm. um, around that area, mm. and then down to Angel Town in like 90, 90, 91. Okay, so what did you go to? Any other primary schools, or did you go to uh, um, primary schools in around the Angel Town area, <clears throat> Brixton area? Um, yeah, I spent primary school in Angel Town. Mm. The primary school actually in the estate. Did you have the accent as well when you were six? Yeah, yeah. How, how was that guy in primary in um, London? Yeah, it was weird. When we come play, obviously everyone was just, like, we was the new kids and mm. with the accent, everyone's one up to us. Oh, oh, say that again, say that again. So we just have to repeat what I'm saying. And I'm just talking normal, like, what do you mean? They're all laughing. I'm like, mm. I was just like, yeah, it was just, mm. yeah, it, was, it was cool. So, it was so just how, different. How did you find primary school? Primary. And what did you want to be? What did you want to do? What did you primary see? Primary was cool. I was just, I weren't really thinking as such what I want to be. And I just mm. used to. What, what primary school did you go to? Um, St. John's, Angel Town. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's in the estate though, yeah, right? Right yeah. in the estate. Mm. Right in the estate. They <laughs> right. say you're just coming out the crib and jumping. Yeah, but it was, sometimes it was like a hindrance because I would just wake up and be like, I just don't even want to go to school. But what block was you lot right from in there? there? My mum would just be like, well, in Angel Town. have to go to school. Going what block was that? Where, where, what block was you lot from? Because Marston. So that's just right opposite, isn't it? Kind of thing. Marston was it was literally right. It's right next to the school. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, and, yeah. It, and how was it growing up in Angel Town? Because everybody knows that would have been like a a rough place, tough place to grow. Um, yeah, when in we those first times moved anyway. There, it was just it just seemed wild to me because, mm. but obviously, it was wild, but it was exciting because we was as young as we was. We was doing like wild stuff in Birmingham. Like we used to. Go out mm. and climb on crazy things, construction that we never used to, like you know, supposed to be there. Mm. And we was young, so when we came to London, it was just everything was just exciting. So yeah. Angel Town, it was just this big. Thing. When I stood down on the grass and looked up, I just thought, "Wow, this block is like it's high up." There was four of them all yeah. around. Yeah. And then the day we moved round there, I just heard we just heard music thumping. Mm. So it's like, "Wow, what's going on?" We walked around to near the football pitch, and it was just full of people like. Dora, she was doing like a big fun day. There was mm. all people was there. 
Um, Whose daughter, like a person she was, in the community? She's, she's, yeah, she used to run the estate and mm. do all the community work on the estate. Yeah, big up Dora, she man. We need away. more R. people R. like that. RIP, yeah. definitely, man. Definitely, definitely. So you got siblings. What what position do you come in? What order do you come I'm in? I'm last. I was the youngest. Oh, you're the youngest? Yeah. Okay, I so was. I've got a little brother now, but when we came to London, I was the youngest. So how was it being in that position? And how was um, Jaja as a big brother? Um... <laughs> <laughs> he was cool as a big brother when we was young young he just used to do crazy stuff so I was always obviously he used to have to take me with him because mm. it was like if if, if that just not going you're not going <laughs> so I was like the, I was like the hindrance like oh this guy is just you have to take him in it so and I always something always used to happen always to me as well I always used to I was just mm. an accident pro and I was just always something happened so mm. yeah I used to just be a hindrance did, but did yeah you he used to look like, after me Rolling with your big brother that forced you to grow up quicker. In a sense, I guess I just yeah, in a sense because I just learned things mm. more. I learned quicker. Mm. I learned from watching him instead of going through certain things myself. Mm. So it's like it kind of helped, and yeah, mm. it, it could have its positive and negative aspects. So. so, what secondary school did you go in London? Um, first I went to William Penn in mm. Dulwich. Oh, you went Penn? Yeah. It was yeah. called that then. Then it changed to Dutch High School for Boys. Now it's gone and it's yeah. called the Charter or something. So yeah. yeah, is that what it changed to Dulwich High School for Boys? Yeah. What when you was there? Yeah. Okay. And then that didn't do nothing for them yeah. because obviously was, that, was it still school, it? was it still all boys in that school? Yeah. Okay. So how was that for you? That was being in an all boys school. It was just at the time it was exciting because obviously it was interested in girls, but. It was like there's a girls' school next door, so mm, just, what school was that? Um, I can't even remember what it was called to be honest with you. But there was a girls' mm. school next door, yeah. and we just used to go there, and you know <laughs> that was it was right next door, so it was like oh, girl, girls are right the school there. name is right next door. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the girl? <laughs> the girls are there. You get it? Well, yeah. So yeah, that was all good. That Secondary. was good. Um, mm. I left William Penn from like. Yeah, nine, because that's when obviously I started thinking more mm. and I started thinking about what I want to do and mm. I was getting into um, sports more, mm. football. That's what I was just about to say. You didn't look, um, you don't look like a sports guy to yeah, me. I was yeah, going to yeah. ask, did you play any I'm sports? Baller still. Are you a baller? Yeah. What so position was, did you play? Um, centre mid. Okay, yeah. Now you got to be a oh, baller to oh, play them position yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah you got to be a baller. baller. So and have vision as well. Yeah, definitely. That's what it was. That's the vision, yeah, vision, yeah. You've got to control the sun of Yeah, yeah. You know when you said the vision of a pigeon? You know what I'm saying? You've got to have that, bro. you got to have it, bro. But yeah, football. And then I started kind of thinking, what am I going to do after school? But William Penn was just so kind of... School was just, just unorganised, kind of. Mm. Mm. No, 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 <laughs> I know, I know. It was at its downfall. So yeah. they, were, they said there was clothes in it. Mm. And then the, everyone would move to Kingsdale. Kingsdale, Okay. And I kind of, I just thought, I don't want to go to Kingsdale. It's just good. I was thinking, I would, that's, I was thinking about education at that time. Mm, if mm. it was just for our entertainment, still, I would have happily just went yeah, Kingsdale. Like Kingsdale. Yeah. But yeah. I just thought, oh, let me fix up and try and learn something. So I thought, let me go to, let me change school. Then I went to Tennyson's in Kennington. Oh, you went Tennyson's? Okay. Then when I got to Tennyson's, I realized that it was in year nine. So I got there and then I realised the work that I'm doing in year nine in Tennyson's, mm. I was doing in year seven in mm. William Penn. So that yeah. just confused the shit out of me with the whole school thing. Yeah, so nice. I just got kind of raw. I gave like, I gave up kind of like raw. I don't need to come to school. Mm. What, what's, what's, what's the point? If I learned that in year seven, mm. why are you teaching me in year nine in different schools? So I kind of was like, yeah, school mm. was just, I would wake up and just be like, tell my mom, I feel like going to school. I don't mm. feel like guys will make up excuses or bunk or just... And then until it got to a point where I just said, you know what? So... If you're not going to go to school... Did you like school, but the work wasn't challenging enough? Yeah. So you just didn't get I motivated just, I just enough? Got, I was bored. Mm. My mum used bored to ask me, get mad and ask me, what's wrong? I said, I'm bored. And mm. she said, okay, cool. Your, your work's not showing that you're low. Mm. So, okay, cool. Mm. I will stay off school for like a week. So Honestly. you used to do all the work and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but just get bored, like, yeah. it's too easy. It's, it's just, yeah, I just had no... I used to just think, what are, what, what am I doing this for? Mm. Like, what, 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 what year was this? This was year nine, year ten. Uh, no, like, um, calendar year. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, about nine... But you grew up in the 90s in Brixton, In the 90s in Brixton, yeah, so how, how, in 2000. How was that for you, growing up in that... It's not Angel Town, so, like, when you come out of Angel Town, you're in Brixton, like, how was that growing up in the whole of that area? Oh, it was 
those times it was it was it was nice, man. It was nice. Yeah. Yeah. Everything was everyone was connected. You could just go everywhere, no problems. Mm. We used to link up and we'll go places. So it was just, mm. it was just, oh, so the unity was you're there. Still we, in had the time, that, like, we had that unity section. My yeah. generation, like everybody yeah. knew each other. There mm. was no segregation yeah. or nothing like yeah. that. And everybody was bridging through school or something. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing, because I went to schools in mm, same Kent yeah. and, and yeah, then same. William Penn, there was a lot of people from Peckham in William Penn. So mm. I, I, I knew people. So mm. it was like, oh, but. I know guys from over there, so I ain't got, I ain't really got a problem so, with it. Was so what was Penn like a slash Brixton Peckham? Yeah. Okay. Brixton Peckham, and then like Dulwich, obviously, because mm. in Dulwich, like the Dulwich bits of that outskirts of Peckham, kind of. Mm. Yeah. So these times, what was your musical influences? <sighs> who was you Our listening to? School? Yeah, who was you listening to? Or maybe let's go back to... Yeah, yeah. What did you from, grow, from, up grow, to? grow up listening like to? Yeah, that's, what what, that's exactly what I was going to say. On a uh, Sunday. You get um, take us through that journey. Old school. Um, my mum used to listen to this, everything. Old school reggae. She used to like some rap. She used to like... So I used to just kind of hear everything. Did you ever grow up thinking you as a reggae artist? And which one, if there was one? I used to... I probably done that with damn near every genre oh. that I liked. That, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> and what jokes was that? What joke, if you can remember? You know, like, you know. Oh, yeah, manga artists. It's like, yeah. Um, I used to... Well, they obviously... <laughs> they, <laughs> They used to call me Budge, innit? Budge, Budge yeah. Abadna. <laughs> it might start off, you know, before he said it. <laughs> <laughs> this was um, yeah, my, yeah. my friend's brother from Asia Town. Big up Chris, big Chris Samuels. Mm. Um, you know, Roger Samuels was that way on the voice. He's yeah, a younger brother. Pod. Yeah, mm. yeah mm. Pod's younger brother. So, boom. He, he named me that. Mm. Everyone but Budger, just called yeah. me after that yeah. yeah like he just started laughing one day he was like, oh you don't like Budjo Batten you know and he just <laughs> uh, so that just stuck so yeah and I used to kind of when we used to have our little clashes like yeah I was kind of the, the Budjo Batten the deep voice kind of like I mm. used to put that on and yeah you know you think he was the the, the, mm. the, 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 the regular artist he mm. used to want to just be everything at that stage so that's when you were young like emotion. in the households mm. as a teenager now when you know what you want to listen to teenager I was listening to Probably Mob Deep, mm. um, all the Queens, Nas, and all that that was popping at the time. Did you say you was more on the Queen side, Queensbridge? Yeah, I, li- I started listening to Tupac, but I would say I started listening to Tupac late. Same. That's yeah. because you was Mob Deep. If you're a Mob yeah. Deep fan, you're gonna listen to Tupac late because that that was, was the op at that yeah. time, really. Yeah. So. We didn't really listen to Tupac. I was exactly the same, man. That's yeah, you know, you kind of got that flip. Oh, yeah, no. Nah, don't like them. Yeah, I don't no, like them. No, yeah. no, 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 we, we listened listen to, to Tupac guys. in the house, man. Yeah. Early as well, fam. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Late, no, I was mobbed out, D, man. Yeah, hey, we definitely listened to some Mob Deep, but Pac yeah. was in the house. No, I, 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 I was I, listening to Biggie <laughs> before I listened to Pac. Yeah, I was just listening to Mob, man. Yeah, it's mad. Yeah, it was just Mob. Biggie's cold. Mob, or like. Yeah, I listen to and anything I, I wasn't still. listening, listening to Biggie, but the the more catchy things I would I would be like, okay, mm. well, Biggie's that to that. It's only when I started getting older and listening more mm. to content mm. that's when I went over to Pac and I'm mm. listening to Pac and I'm saying, Rah, oh, I like what he's saying more. Like and I was <laughs> deep in it and mm. listening, listening. Mm. You get it? When was that when you became an artist, you started to deep pack more? No. Nah. Before, before that, this yeah. was before, yeah. Mm. This was before I was even writing, because mm. when I started, yeah, when I started writing, I had taken in a whole lot <laughs> already. Mm. Like, mm. yeah. What age did you start writing? I would say seventeen. About seventeen. Yeah, after mm. I left school. In school, obviously, I used to write little poems and stuff. Cause I was I was good at English. I used to like English, but I didn't used to write actual like try and write lyrics and songs and stuff. Mm. It's only when them not started, I started hearing my brother in that rap. I mm. said, okay, cool. Let me see if I can pen something. Mm. When you, when you, than that. On that note, when you started to hear them rapping, like, how did you feel? I was excited, but I was gassed. I was thinking, oh, it and made he, me feel like, yeah, I can do it. Because mm. I know these guys. Mm. And he was rapping at that time, the ones you heard? It was obviously my brother, Tana, um, Archer, mm. Quinny. Maddox, White Boy. I don't really know his name, but he mm. was called White Boy. Um, who else was it? Yeah, that was it. I used to I used to bang those tapes like it was mm. Mm. cassette tape, <laughs> innit? Yeah, yeah. I used to bang those tapes in my room like crazy, just flows, mm. flows, and I'm just trying to. Okay, how can I write something myself? 
Mm. Yeah. Mm. So that hearing that and listening to their music kind of that made me actually like okay I'm gonna write music. Mm. So um they all went Joe at one time in the PDC. Yeah. Did you go with them? Yeah, I was amongst them. And what was that experience like for you? That was that was my first time going jail. Mm. Obviously, I got arrested a couple of times before that, but that was my actually first time. Like, oh, you're gonna go to jail, mm. and even though I still had the smallest sentence because it was mm. my first time, I was still just like, oh shit, I just didn't really. Obviously, I was with I was around my good brothers, so mm. I, I knew when I went there, I'll be cool. How did that feel being away from your family and that though, being the youngest brother and all that? Yeah, prison's just shit. It's just, I'm just not <laughs> someone that can. Mm. Tell them, <laughs> this is for the, like a message yeah, for even the young ones. I need to be able to open my mm. door. I'm just not, I'm just not. I've got that, that funny thing of raw. I can't open my door. I have to wait for someone to open my door till I can, mm. that manoeuvre, like, that just, I couldn't, couldn't register with me. Because this is before the, um, it came with the PDC album when you came all came yeah, out. Yeah, no, and I, came never, I never had no music at this stage. Mm. I didn't even record. Uh, I think I recorded one rap the first time them lot took me studio. Mm. I think I recorded one rap me, Shaq, and Grizz. Mm. So we went to studio and recorded a track. We was all gassed. Obviously, it's the first time the older lot had heard any of us in it. So they're like, okay, well, mm. these lot are. They're mm. rapping now. They've recorded. This, this, so this is when you come home. No, this is before we went. Okay, before yeah, just before. So mm. me, Shaq, and Grizz recorded that one song, freestyle. They was like, okay, yeah, you look, you're ready. Like you can do this. You get me? Mm. Then boom, went jail. Mm. Obviously, we're all in jail, writing, writing. Mm. That's what I was just about to ask you. Was you writing in there? Yeah, I was just in jail yeah. writing. Then came home. I came out, and I was just the only one out in it because mm. I got a short sitting, so mm. I come out and I was just on my own. So I'm like, oh, what am I right, how do? long did you do in there? I got like 14 months or something. Okay. I ended up doing... And how old was you at the time? 18. Turned mm. 19. Yeah, 18. I turned 19. Mm. And then I done about, <clears throat> I want to say, seven, eight months. Mm. And then that's when I was introducing the tag. So I got the tag. Where was you? Felt or somewhere else? I was all over the place. But in a short little time. Yeah. I, I went high down first. Mm. Then they took me... No, I went to high down. And we went to court and I actually got bail. Mm. But then they took me, something happened in the court downstairs. Mm. They they took me back to jail. I was mm. supposed to go home. They took me back to jail. I'm in high down. I'm telling them when I'm going back in, right, you know, like I've got bail. I'm not supposed to come back here. Oh, mm. yeah, what? So I'm like, all right, cool. Sat in the cell and then in the next, I think the next morning, I've come in there. Panicking, oh, okay, come, you know what I'm saying? Well, he's like, yeah, you got to go, you're not meant to be here. Like, I mm. said, that's what I was telling you when I came in. So, mm. <laughs> got me out. Mm. I came out, and then I was on bail for the rest of the little trial thing. And then when I went back in, mm. they sent me to Feltham. I've gone to Feltham, I was there for like uh, about a week, I want to say. Mm. And then they just come and got me, and I went to Only. Is that where everybody else was, like your brother and everyone else, or was nah. it in Big Man? Because they're older than you, innit? No, nah. I went to, first I was in High Down with um, Sykes. Mm. Then yeah, I was in High Down with Sykes, I came out, they sent me back to Feltham with ribs. Mm. No, they sent me to Feltham, I bucked ribs in there. How much of you in total got done on that swoop? <sighs> I think that was like, I'm sure it was like 18 of us or something 18? like that. Yeah. That's crazy, man. <laughs> That's the whole, crazy. Yeah, the whole place was quiet yeah. after that. And and you haven't been back since, innit? I went back like, Okay, I thought, you, hey, I thought you haven't been back, back yet. Like a couple of years yeah. after, but it was, it was just a remind, innit? Mm. And it, what, that time felt worse than the first time. The first time, yeah. I was just on remind. I didn't mm. know. I was, I was in there for about um, two months, mm. two months and some weeks. And then I just got, um, it, got it got thrown out. Mm. And then nothing just kept out of trouble. Yeah, just... I just chilled after that. I said, you know what? Let me sit down, because mm. mm. <laughs> I don't do this jail thing. Mm. So you come home now, PDC, PDC, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it was just bang. Well, the first time I came out, that's when I done the PDC for Life song. Mm. I recorded that on my own. I went to um, Matic Studio. You remember Matic? Matic, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my yeah. cousin still. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> went to his studio, recorded <laughs> yeah. that. And... Blige and that was still in jail, in it? Yeah. And obviously, he, he had just heard the freestyle that mm. we done before we went in so and when I come out now 
he's phoning, phoning, and he's saying, well, oh, you still rapping? I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I got something I want to... I want you to hear, you get me, boom, mm. I've sent in the tape. He said he played it, and Jerry said, oh, people's guy mad, he's calling back, like, oh, yeah, he says his song's sick, when we come out, on videos or whatever. I said, mm. like, cool, obviously, that happened, came out, we done all the videos and whatnot. Mm. Was going through all that phase, and then, yeah, music, the music was just kind of popping from there. How would you, how old, how old was you at that time? I was 19. You was 19? I came out, I came out when I was 19, yeah. Mm. Only done a couple months, like I said. Because you look, was like the youngest in PDC, innit? Yeah. What would you say your biggest track was? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Probably Streets is My Wife. Streets is My Even Wife. Even though it was early on. Mm. It was just it was a track ex, um, talking about coming from Birmingham mm. to London and for the mm. North. Yeah, Some so, real life, real life yeah. shit. So people, that was kind of a favourite for a lot of people. Mm. What one you got <laughs> the most feedback off? Uh, at the time, yeah. But obviously it wasn't in the times that it is now. Mm. So yeah, mm. <laughs> it was mm. just... How did, how did feedback? You, how did you see the um the rap game back then? It was just grind, grind. Everything was just got to just. Did go you see it, it though, growing into what it is now? Um, because your brother did. Did you? see Your it? brother yeah. had a vision. I can't. Yeah, yeah. I, see, I saw it going into what it, 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 it has grown. Did into you like, now. used to have them conversations? Like, did you used to sit down and like, did you used to like open up to you and like about what he thinks and? There's been we had certain meetings, meetings, but mm. yeah, as to like just. Personally, me and him, mm. nah, we don't really okay. sit down and have personal combos mm. like, oh yeah, the next move and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Obviously, like being now, because we're just obviously we've got my own man. I'm doing, mm-hmm. I'm just mm-hmm. kind of doing my thing. You get it? Mm-hmm. But yeah, as to the whole vision of seeing this stuff happen, seeing the game change how it did before YouTube, no, mm. like <laughs> obviously that that was like a. When YouTube came out and it was like, oh, okay, this is what's happening. That was just a change up for mm. us mm. in the game. Mm-hmm. You get me? But then mm. after that, yeah, everything, I just knew everything would just excel mm-hmm. after that. Everything would start changing. Even, even after to, when YouTube came you out, me? like it was, it was still like a little gap before yeah, it yeah. actually, you know, mm. got noticed. Mm. It got noticed, but not noticed that it could be something. Like it had potential. Yeah, but for, basically from I just saw, you could upload mm-hmm. online and people like, Everywhere, all mm-hmm. over the world can see it. I just do, yeah, game changers. YouTube like, came out. We never thought, now. like, right, you could get money from this. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But before YouTube, though, because we're way, for, we're, we're, way we're before, from, yeah. before YouTube, what, what, what did you think? Because we both had fights, like the police. What did you think with mm-hmm. them trying to shut down your movement yeah, and, and, <sighs> and stuff like this? That was kind of... It was disheartening at the time, but obviously... Yeah, what, it, what it, was that like, though, man? It's a harder fight for like, us, really man, get, than it is for the average, man. Yeah, because there weren't... There was no kind of shows or anything, or even if there was, sometimes you get gassed up, oh, show, 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 making our way there, and mm. then you get news, oh, yeah, it's Cancel. going on no more. Like, yeah. <laughs> you don't need to turn it around. So it's like, oh. It was kind of disheartening, and a lot of that was happening. Obviously, mm. more so with my brother, he would know, because he was at the forefront mm. of... Mm. Doing it, he would know the more ins and outs of where we was getting shut down. But yeah, it was, it was, it, and it filtered down a lot as well, even in the, just in the industry, mm. the low industry, obviously not mainstream, just artists and certain producers or, you know, like, don't want to mess with man, don't want to, so it's just like, okay. Mm. Yeah, Tim Westwood messed with kinda, you though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm, you've been on yeah, the Westwood uh, show, man, a little. You done Fire in the Booth, not Fire in the Booth, what did Tim Westwood yeah, do? Yeah, we've done a couple of Tim Westwood freestyles. Mm, what would you say the biggest show you, that you have done, though? Show? Yeah. Um, I haven't done, like, show, show. Yeah, shows, yeah. I haven't even done a show before. Oh, you ain't done none? I haven't done a show mm. before. Mm, that's how the era shows was. kind of like unheard of, kind of thing. And there was twice. no money involved. Yeah, what he just said there, like, man used to get happy to get the show. Yeah. And then you hear it's cancelled. It was twice. Yeah. Like, twice. And that was like carnival. Mm. Like, long time back I in want like, people Birmingham, to know, carnival though. and some Bristol or somewhere else like that. Other than that, I haven't really done no kind of stage performances or, yeah, I haven't really done nothing. Bro, like that. I want people to know, though, like, people that's watching, you get me, is that man actually was there from the beginning and saw everything there was no shows there was nothing there Mm. to keep there was no incentive do you understand you had to have love for this thing to continue to do it do you understand what I'm saying to you that's what kept me doing it and that was going to be my next question but I say that to say this is like there was nothing there was nothing there 
Mm. There was no, like I said, like he said, you'd be happy to get a show. And there was no money involved on that. And man mm. just wanted to be heard. Mm. Do you understand? Man mm. wanted a break from the estate, the block, the mm. everything else that yeah, was going yeah. on. Mm. You feel me? Yeah. And everybody admired, from we admired yeah. each other's talents. You feel me? And it was like a little competition. You feel me? So, yeah. you feel me? It was something to, that was what kept man going. Mm. There was nothing going. Yeah. So, for you, what kept you going? Me, um... Like I said, it's just um, the passion, my love for just actually rapping and making music. Mm. If I didn't like writing and mm. it didn't make me feel like I was getting some type of release, mm-hmm. I, would, I would have stopped writing ages mm. ago. I would have said, well, fuck this. Because mm-hmm. this is, this is they weren't really nothing there. Yeah. Yeah. I, and even with this passion, I've mm-hmm. said to myself at times, well, I'm not, this is long. Mm. Well, like it I happens, say, innit? The Sit money- down and you say, no, like. I just I think about rapping all the time and it it just mm-hmm. comes easy as rap so I'm just like right what's the point I can't yeah. just I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna rap in it and I would say this as well even like the money people's receiving now is like the money like our sort of camps put in to the the rap game yeah, most time, definitely on I didn't even get it back CDs yeah, mm. they ain't even got it back they didn't yeah, get it back yeah, million yeah. percent but yeah what did PDC mean to you what does it mean to you does it still mean something to you PDC at the time, anyway, PDC. And then, at the time, as a like grown I man, said, it was yeah, it was a it was, it was a family to me at that early stage because everyone was that it seemed like everyone was family, mm. so it was a family to me. Like now, it still means family to me, but it's kind of I'm, I'm just it's <laughs> not everybody was a family. Yeah, it's just yeah. by mm-hmm. by myself. My meaning of PDC is just mm. here. I know what it. I know what it means to me, in it. Mm. So it's like I don't really, you won't really see me saying "oh PDC" and mm. pushing it out because mm-hmm. it's mm. not what I like. The fire in the booth. Remember, I, I done the fire in the booth, and I, I kind of try, I kind of try to explain the ins and outs of what was going on in the hopes that it will make the man them look and say, "Okay, all this little bickering and stuff mm. is mm. not worth." Like it's not bigger than the end goal mm-hmm. that we're mm-hmm. trying it's to achieve. Yeah, no one is bigger than the no program. I don't think no one understood mm-hmm. what I was saying. Mm-hmm. So it kind of, after that fire in the booth, I kind of got, I got shut down. Like I didn't, mm. no one don't really talk to me. Mm. Like even now, like mm. a lot of men just don't fuck mm. me because, because of that. Mm. I didn't understand why because mm. I'm sitting there like, raw. Like it's like a lot of men took it as disrespect and I'm like, what? What's disrespectful about it? I, I speak how I speak, and sometimes it might come across like facey or whatever. But I'm not being disrespectful. If you listen mm. to the whole of what I'm saying, mm. the end goal, same thing is what is like what is man doing, kind of. Mm. And at the end, I said, "Well, I love my brothers to death," but mm. you get it. Like, mm. what's gonna happen? And everyone just took that wrong. So, mm. PDC to me now just means what it means to me as a person. There's mm. no one else connected with it. Mm. That makes sense. Yeah, no, I get you. I get you fully, mm. man. So how mm. many projects did you have? Like solo projects? Um, I've done a couple, but they've just kind of slid under the radar car because of the times we was doing it. Since mm. all this new stuff and like YouTube, Spotify and all that, I've only put out like one project, mm. which was like the end of last year. It's called Grow Man Music. Mm. Like that's it's on Spotify. And that's the and only stream. project that's on Spotify? That's the only one that's on there, yeah. So where could they find the old ones? Are they like on YouTube, SoundCloud? The old ones, you might can find them on YouTube. Yeah. Or on SoundCloud, I've got a, yeah, I've got a couple on my SoundCloud that mm. are old, but they're not as old as mm. the ones that are just, I don't know where you'll find those ones. Mm. So, so who was your favourite <clears throat> member in PDC? Rapper. My favourite rapper? Yeah, in PDC. Um... I'm gonna have to say my favorite rapper was Quinny. Mm. Yeah, just why you know, I was I was I was about to explain because yeah. I'm just a I'm a um flows flow man in it like mm. I like flows and mm. like I said when I mentioned earlier I listened to the old tapes mm. Quinny was in jail at the time mm. so he wasn't on a lot of the tapes mm. but he sent my brother uh one just one um tape of just him on song so. I heard him on the um, Money Power Respect beat mm-hmm. and I played that and when I mean my whole thing of rap just kind of changed. I played it and I had to stop it and say whoa rewind it played it again and I said oh shit I took the tape out I went to my brother's room I said bruv you need to copy this for me this is mad he's laughing like oh he's sick and I'm saying bruv this is not I'm st-. again like nah 
Like, you sure? He's, 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 you're a virgin? Like, I said, like, okay, cool. Like, <laughs> you know, like, I had to, it was, so I said, oh, like, Quinny was kind of my favourite from then. Mm. You get it? Even though I adapted flows from everyone, Quinny was my favourite. Mm. So I don't know if you know, but I know. So I, like, a lot of people, you're like a fan favourite in PDC. A lot of people percent. say, like, um, they'll go Nadja. It all, you know what I'm saying? They'll say other certain the names. Underrated one, fam. You, yeah, they'll always enough say Enough people, one. yeah, underrated. And they say, I don't know, I used to see a lot of people saying, oh, he's good, he's good, but his work rate, uh, and I'm like, I How do you feel maybe. about all this, man? And why? Explain all this, man. Do you agree with that, though? It, nah, not at all. Why not? If you see me in the studio, I'm a beast in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I lay down, I, like, I'll write something right now, go in the booth, one take, and I'm out. <laughs> like, I'm... A beast when I got in the studio. People know this. Like, mm. man, know this. Like, you, I don't pet when I got in the studio. Mm. So, where do you get this from to be a bit deeper than the average? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to go a bit deeper and most probably you're a bit more lyrical, mm. I'd say, as yeah. well. Mm. Um, where does it come from? Um, that is just from, I don't know, that's just from. Because you're me, more, me, you're, you're, like, me, knowing both of you, you're more lyrical than Judger. Yeah. And then, so why would you be like that, being the little boy? Why wouldn't you take his kind of style and you're a bit more technical, even I, even on your freestyle, when they hear the um, free smoke freestyle, mm-hmm. you just yeah. laid, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. You can hear like the pockets you're the rapping in and the different. fours you're doing yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. Do you understand? That's, that's the whole reason. I just, I just, when I started rapping, I just didn't want to rap and sound like my brother or sound like Tanner or sound like, I said, bro, well, I want to, I like you all the be styles, but you I, be I just want to be different. Different, but did you want to be better? I didn't really, even think like better. I just, just wanted thought, to be different. I just wanted it to sound dope like how their sounds, but it just has to be mine. Different, original. Yeah, and these rap though, you can hear the influence of like Queensbridge. Mm. Do you understand? Like mm. it's, it's like a kind of like a poet. You mm. feel me? A storytelling. Yeah, that's, that's the thing I used to write poems. Like I said, so like, you feel me? Mm. That's where probably the deepness of just mm. in my writing just came from because I used mm-hmm. to I just I used to write poems a lot. So. Mm. I just kind of adapted that to some of them. I even turned into my first kind of lyrics and mm, kept me, and it was kind of deep. Packed so it was that. like, mm. that's how, that's just how I developed the kind of style that I write with now. Mm. So, what made you stop giving the people music? Why wasn't you consistent through the times till um, now? Just certain, certain um, situations around, man, probably. Or like, I'm doing my music, but. There's a lot of us doing music at the same time. Mm. So everything can't get, like, everything, everyone can't get focused on at the same time, mm. kind of thing. Mm. And yeah, when, was, when, when, we went, when it was banging and was kind of at that popular section, I remember there was a meeting and obviously it was decided that um, DV and Tempman's going to be... The faces. Mm-hmm. They're going to be pushed. Mm. Mm-hmm. I didn't have no problem with that car. I'm not a hater. I said, I'm cool with that. I don't mind. Like, let them, like, I'm, I'm, I'll push too. Like, mm. I'll, you get me? We, we get behind the push. So that mm. was happening. But I'm obviously, I still can make my music. I'm not just going to stop. I still, mm. so I was still doing my music. But then, yeah, that what happened with them just happened. And then after that, I can kind of say that, that there was no real concentration, that same concentration mm. on any other artist mm. after that. Mm. I don't know why, maybe because of, I don't know, just maybe because of the whole situation with mm. how the game changed and what happened with Temp Man. Mm. You mm-hmm. get me? Mm-hmm. How, how did you feel about that? Not with their situation, is that no concentration on the rest of you? Or I you just saw it as, I was bothered. Mm. <laughs> Cause, yeah, that's Because I'm a rapper, and yeah. Yeah, I was bothered. <laughs> um, uh, you know, like I wanted to, I'm saying, well, oh, where's, you know, where's my mm. little entrance mm. to you know they mm. got their entrance where's my little entrance mm. I, layup, I, I, yeah. yeah I ain't mm. got no layup mm. I'm just here still trying to grind from the bottom and th- you know th- there's a layup but I'm not getting the layup so I mm. just that's, it just was what it was I just thought you know I'm just going to keep pushing on my own doing my own thing mm. did you, and did you I was, sorry to cut you sorry. did you lose motivation at any time at all I did but that that's what kind of because I, I, I realise now that I was under that 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 mind frame for too long of mm. okay where's where's where where's my entrance kind mm. of thing mm. like it was just it was playing it was there for too long mm. I'm just still thinking well yeah okay I'm here working but you know where's my entrance but it's like I don't need to be waiting for that entrance that's mm. that's gone and passed now mm. so I just been I started working on my own stuff 
So yeah, that's leading up to my next question. Can we expect any new music from Naja? Um, definitely. Um, I've got a project coming soon. Small project, about eight tracks. Ain't got a name for it yet. <laughs> I've just mm. been writing songs. Um, I dropped an album twenty twenty one, or I think it was early last year. Um, grow my music. Mm. Yeah, and that that that's. I put that project out knowing that it wouldn't get like a great reception mm. just because of the content and where it was going. But every time I make a move, I make a move so I know where I'm going next. Mm. So after dropping the album, it's like, okay, I know where to go now next with kind of my content and what I'm doing. So yeah, that was just that, that it helped. So what you'd say you're taking things into your own hands now? And yeah, just, 100%. Yeah. I'm just doing my own thing and hopefully, yeah, they're going to get this consistency mm. that they're complaining about. So, so what do you think of the rap game now? Um, the game's, the game's all good still. The game's mm. all good, but, like, I don't know. I Any don't artists know, that you like or anything? All, I just don't mm. like what they're promoting. Like, the main... Stuff that's being promoted, I can't, I can't mess with none of that. Mm. Who's that? Well, not not any names or that, but what do you mean in the things they're promoting? What what, what kind of things? Like just the, you no, know, it's just like that kind of people they're promoting, the artists, and they decide like, this is what UK rap is like. And it's like, nah, I can't, I don't really agree. Mm, I'm not gonna say no and names. Start, yeah, no, of course yeah, it's not. Just, yeah, it's just mm. like yeah, cool in it, mm, but whatever it is. I know uh, where I stand. I'm just my kind of lane is. How would you see UK rap? How would I see UK rap? Oh, Travis, it's just a hard one. Because <laughs> mm. how, like, I see UK rap as us, innit? Like mm. How when we was rapping, that's that's rap. Mm. Mm. A lot the of origin. the style changed Original. the kind of grime mm. and it started yeah. going out of the way to this different kind of, like, obviously <laughs> flows and that change, I get it. Yeah. But <clears throat> rap is rap. Like, yeah, like, rap is when rap. When you hear man. someone rap, it's rap. Like, it's, that's something different, so... Mm. When, it, when it kind of blended off to that, it's like, okay, I don't really know. There's not much originality <laughs> is, right now. Like, from... What is rap? Or what is that rap? Or, okay, he's a rapper. It's like, okay, cool. Mm. Yeah, that's If nice. he's a rapper, then he's a rapper, and he's a rapper, then I don't know. Is what? there anybody that you would, you <laughs> would work with, I, though? What, what am I doing? Is there anyone you would work with, like, in the rap game now? Well, I work with anyone who wants to work with me, really. I'm not really funny like that. I'm mm-hmm. not one of them guys that go on funny like that, but... Has anybody, like, tried to reach out, though? No, but I'm funny to reach out mm. now as well these mm. days because like man just do some weird things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like what, man? <laughs> like man, what? you don't like you a holler at a man or something like rather to do something and a man kind of airs you off like to say you're a fanboy or something or, or mm. kind of like raw. Mm. Oh yeah, or you know do stuff with post DMs. Oh yeah, look, my man was trying to holler and mm-hmm. and it's like yo, mm. this is all childish it's behavior. Different, but I we just used to this. holler at each other. Yeah, yeah what, just, what, what, what it is. and line it up yeah. and get it done. But now no, it's, it's just all it's a the, bit there's different. a load of, it's a bit a load different of bitchy shit going on. So it's just like boy, I don't even. I'm scared to holler sometimes, car. I just and it's not scared because mm. Scar just know myself. Mm. Mm. And so I'm just like, you know what, let me just stay out of that, that mm. pie there because <laughs> mm. I get riled up very quick. So what other sort of things you've been up to um, other than music then, without the, in the time you wasn't doing music? Um, How's life been? Life just, boy, I've just been working and stuff, you know, to be honest. Mm. Working, working, living, yeah, normal stuff at life, getting mm. on with it and um, trying to just build different little business ideas and... Mm-hmm. You get me stuff similar to this. Mm. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of things in the pipeline. Yeah, ideas in the pipeline. Yeah, mm. I'm just trying no, to good. certify certain little. Mm. Aspects but the whole of time it. you was writing, though. I'm always writing. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, that's even nice. if I don't, even if I'm not rapping, I'm just writing, and it's just there. Mm. What well, um, for when I am really? Do you go back to um, Birmingham at all? Um, yeah, now and then still. Yeah, now and then. family. Yeah. And I've been there for a minute. Yeah, but yeah, I go back down there now okay. and then. Still got my family down there, brothers. Mm-hmm. And so, what would you say that you was supported in your career through the um, journey? PDC yourself. Um, no, nah, that's. I don't feel like I was supported. How I could have been supported mm. as to why everyone says, "Raw." Oh, they feel like I wasn't that consistent. Mm. That leads back to that because like like I didn't yeah. have that same support mm. behind me. Mm. And even with the last project I done, like I said, I did it 
to just kind of see what support I had behind me. And then I said, okay, cool. Then I know now I'm just, I'm, I'm just rolling mm. on my own. Because mm. mm. me, myself, like, obviously I'm a fan of this shit as well. Mm. So I always felt like you, Shaq, um, DV, and Temp, man, was just ready to be pushed. Yeah. You feel me? That's how I always felt. So it's mad, like, as I'm doing what I'm doing and the onlooker, I'm like, rah, where is it? You feel me? Mm. Yeah, I wanted to see it more. You get me? Like I said, I was a fan to it too. Definitely. Yeah, it was kind of happening. It used to happen to me. People would say, oh, how come you're not? And I'm just like, I don't know. Like, obviously, Deviant Ten Man happened and then it just kind of went <laughs> silent. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we just got on with it after that. Everyone was just getting on with it, trying to do their own thing. Mm. Now, we'd love to hear definitely more you and more Shaq. Definitely. More of everybody, really, you know mm. what I'm saying? Definitely, man. Definitely. But you were definitely the standout ones, like, for the man, yeah. definitely, man. But, yeah, Mo, you do a little quick fire round, yeah, of, like, um, five questions. <laughs> so, five yeah. And before that, though, you can give me your five favourite rappers, UK <laughs> and US. <laughs> Mm, so what, five rappers. UK and five US? Yeah, yeah. UK. Um, I'm gonna say, let me see. Uh, UK, UK. I mess with nines, scraps, hot of papers, nice, free. Um, I can see where you're going with it. You, you yeah. like rappers. Yeah, rappers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, rappers. I, I, I like rap. Yeah. So, Fredo's, Fredo's good when he's mm. rap rapping. <laughs> Why can't I think of all? Wait there. Yeah. Art ads. Okay. Yeah, I like art ads. What's that? D block? No, art no, ads. Art, art ads, ads, not art young ads. ads. Art ads. Okay, from, from town. Yeah, yeah, from like Loughborough okay. Town or something like that. Oh. Is, is nice. Yeah. Mm. US now. Um, I listen to some different, some different dons. Um, old or like, does it doesn't matter? Doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> Can't think of the new and, but um, I listen to now Hendrick, mm. um, guy called Anderson Pack. But does he rap though? He don't rap though. He raps and does he this thing. He does all kind of things. He, and does he plays rapping. instruments, yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not under some He's I dope still. Is it? I don't even know. Nah, he's dope. Sing, uh, sing, I don't know. Sing. That's what I'm saying. I just like music, music you know, like mm, the, the mm. band and all that shit. I like, mm. I like fucks with that. That was J. Cole. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. You can go think. old school if you yeah. want. Yeah, you can go old school, man. Old school ones. You went current on the English as well. I noticed that one day. <laughs> yeah, but keep it. It's good. I, saw, I know it's because I just thought yeah, man just cool. meant current. That's cool. Nah, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're I know, good with I know, that. I should go back. We're good with that because um, we're living in current times. Yeah. Mm, and they're putting music out consistently. Definitely. So big them Definitely. all up. Mm. Big yeah. them all up. Mm. That's what. Yeah. That's why when you say top five, I just think of. Mm. Now, yeah, now, of course, yeah. of course, you have to. That's who, whoever's putting out and doing the work. My definitely, man. Favorite, like, yeah, then we, we can yeah. go back to that. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, two more American you're looking yeah. for. Aren't it? Kendrick's little, the little guy that's coming up, Keem or something. Well, I don't know that one. Like, nah, I ain't heard of him. Um, Kendrick's nephew or something. Mm. Yeah, nah, I ain't heard of him. He's hard. Recently, I started listening to um, Mo Free. Okay. He passed away though, yeah, right? He died. He yeah, I used to listen to him. Yeah, he had some bangers still. Yeah, he had some bangers still. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a current. Let's give me an old school one. Mm. Of both. Oh, yeah, of both. Old school now. UK. Um, oh, you're going to get my brain going now. <laughs> I've got to think back to who was even rapping them times. And, ah, oh, yeah, boom, yeah, it's come. This is Paige. Yeah, we got we got um, weird nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah Paige, Paige. So I'll say Paige, but Paige. Blade, obviously Blade's got recent, Blade. Yeah, Blade's recent um, Blade. Yeah, yeah, Blade's been there yeah, from back in the day as well. Just yeah, I just remember him from. Those are two times. incredible names. Paige, Blade. What's what's his name? Uh, there was the two that used to rap with you lot. Yeah, mm. SAS. No, young no. Or kids. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 them. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it was. It's kind of both of them still. Both of them, yeah, they were cold still. They were cold still. Definitely. They were cold still. Yeah, them punchlines jumping off. Yeah. Yeah, Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was cold. Yeah, they were Um, cold still. million percent. That I used to rap with gigs, I think. What, the light skinner? Mm. Kaiser? No. I think he had a tune with gigs. I used to rap with dubs. Dubs, that's it. Dubs was all right at that time. Yeah. And I had buzz, definitely. million percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's five UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was factual. It was factual. Definitely. 
Oh, and I'm just going by what I used to. Regardless, yeah. then, that's yeah. not yeah. right. Obviously, in my camp, I'm just going to say, "Oh, I like that guy, that yeah. guy," because yeah, of course yeah. I fucks with them. Like there's yeah. the guys I was on tunes with every day. Yeah, no, like, no, no I, 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 love, I love that you so, cho- that you chose two guys from my camp at the time. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, them, them two. That's what I'm saying. Nah, they were hard. They were hard. Them two was fire. Percent, million, million them percent, two was fire. Million percent. Trust me, we don't run from the truth here, man. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, because people might think because you said those two names that my reaction yeah, yeah. might no, be a bit no, different. No. Like I'm gonna that's be facts, hit, yeah, no yeah. machine. You know, no. That's facts. They were fire, bro, man. Both of them. them two was fire. Mm. Mm. But you said something kind of not too many men. I ain't even really seen too many men do this in the UK. So you'd perform with a band in that, yeah? Yeah, of course. Cool. That's dope. Shit, I like man. that. Mm. But, um, Orchestra and all that shit yeah, live yeah, yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's dope. Yeah. I like that stuff. Mm. That's dope. Mm. That's like grown shit. Yeah, yeah, it's like a grown shit. You know, like when you're doing your, your little, say, if you got a headline mm. show or something, you yeah. just do it like that. I right? like that. Yeah. Um, jazz. I like jazz music. Innit? I so like when jazz. I, when I like when the live bands playing. It yeah, just, I'm Red yeah, Groove, man. Yeah, that's, 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 that's it. I'm Red Groove. I'm Red Groove still. Mm, yeah, I'm with the Red Groove. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> jazz is a bit mm. too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's called jazz. Came before Red Groove. It came yeah. before. Yeah. Yeah. Thing, yeah. yeah. Tempo. Yeah. 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 I can't handle that. Jazz is calm still, but it's. I gotta see what's going on. I ain't really trying to. I'm an 80s it baby. Mm. Rap, yeah. rap comes from jazz. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The same kind of. Mm. Yeah, no, that's cool. Let's go, mm-hmm. Mom. No, still got the five US. Oh, the five oh, US. Old school ones. Yeah, old school, yeah, yeah. Um, Legends. <clears throat> yeah, Let me see. Whoever where you feel's a legend, yeah. he's a legend to you. Yeah. Let me yeah. see where your head's at. They're packed. <laughs> Have to. Yeah, I'm going to say packed. Pack, that's the obvious yeah. one. Um. Fuck's a big L, but I, I only have heard to. a few. Yeah. Of that's my man. That's a good big call. That's my man. That's, that's a where I call. Wow. Bruv, that's a brilliant yeah. call. That yeah. will be in my top five. Yeah. Two of them. Both what you just uh, said in my L. top five. That's um, a good call. Obviously, Nas. I used to fuck with Nas from mm. back then. Mm-hmm. Long time. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not saying the same. Same fucking... <laughs> um, Mob Deep. Mm. Pro- or maybe just Prodigy. Prodigy, yeah. I was going to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. P. Prodigy. Fuck's with P. It's that man. Definitely. DMX so I That's a good call It's a good call still That's a good X call I like X that man. list That list is good Yeah X is a dog yeah. bro man I seen him live X is Best person I seen live perform bro X yeah. Facts Yeah, yeah I watched no him one. perform live At um, 2003 Mobile Awards Yeah and I ain't seen No one do it like me. X man Yeah No hype man mm. You get me one up In the camouflage suit Yeah You get me Different vibe What did you think about The numbers in PDC the numbers of, yeah. of and, rappers. Yeah, and did you think everyone was a good rapper that warranted to be in PDC? Um, you don't have to say no kinda, names on that. Yeah, no, it yeah. kind of got stemmed out to like, there was like 10 main rappers. Mm. And then, not to say obviously anyone else on the other skirts wasn't a good rapper, but it just got stemmed to the 10 main rappers that mm. was going to be you the in focus that of the group. Yeah. Mm. So it was just 10 main rappers and then there was... Just, yeah, on the outskirts, there was other artists that was doing different kind of... It's because they was maybe doing different things as well. It weren't mm. all just, like, the music we started out with. Do you get me? Like, mm. different artists might have wanted to... They're doing a, a different sort of music, so that all got yeah, branched it looked out. At one yeah. time, there was, like, about 50 of you guys, man. <laughs> <laughs> all rapping, bro. There was, like, yeah, there was, only, there was, like, 10 main rappers. Yeah. Yeah, no, no I hear you still, man. Yeah, that's nuts, still. Yeah. Let's go then, Mo. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely nice. All right, first one's got to be, you know, we've got to keep it south. So, True Flavors or Tickle Me? True Flavors. Nike or Adidas? Nike. McDonald's or Burger King? Burger King, I don't do like these. UK or US rap? UK. Yeah, of course, man. <laughs> Beauty or Personality? Uh, personality in it, it, overall in the end mm. yeah. uh, you can look nice as a motherfucker and I just don't like it <laughs> mm. let me throw one in there though Jay-Z or Nas Nas yeah yeah you're a Nas guy yeah, yeah. 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 that's with Nas more yeah, I'm a whole boy still. I'm a whole baby man <laughs> yeah, I'm a whole so he's Holds in my top five still though, man, but Nas, he's in my top five but still. now like the music they're doing now Obviously, Jay Z's, I would say, he's staying more kind of mm. relevant. Like, he's staying Definitely. on top of Nas because, mm. like, no one really wants yeah. to hear what Nas is what we're talking about, basically. Mm. More time, <laughs> you get kinda, me? Yeah. Mm. 
No facts. So okay, when can we expect this new music, man? Give it about a month. Mm. Yeah, the month. The about chill. a month. Yeah. And uh, you got any advice to any up and coming artists? Just keep, keep, keep grinding. Keep mm. doing your thing. Keep pushing. Um. Yeah. Stay focused. And just yeah, keep going. What, what even about the can... experience that you went through about waiting? You know, like yeah, just boy. The best advice of that. Because you wasn't just waiting though, you was being just, loyal to your that's, team that's as well. Just about and that's explain. what was killing you. It's, it's, yeah. not, it's not a <laughs> thing of just waiting, it's, yeah. it's, it's love and loyalty at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm just, I don't want to run off and try and do my own thing over there because mm. what's that mm. going to look like? So I'm staying here and I'm working mm. with the machine got, that we're yeah. supposed to be working what, with. What, obviously? Like, the, do, you reckon, do you reckon that had this effects on you? Like, yeah, that being loyalty? I mean, being loyal. Yeah, of course, man. Million percent. That's why I said that. Million percent, man. Mm, it does, man. You can be, what is it? You can be low by what? To a fool. Or, or, yeah, mm, it's like whatever mm, it is the saying goes, man. Trust mm, me, man. Mm. A million percent, man. Mm. Million and percent. even that thing of wanting to leave, and then you're like, hold on, but what if I'm just being paranoid about a situation and mm. it's not really like that, and then mm. I leave? And so then, your mind's all fucked. So then I don't, and then I'm tricks. like, you know what? Yeah. No, it's maybe it's just me, and then I stay, and then something else happens, and I'm like, no, this is like, it, it must be me going quick. Like, but it, it, it Shit happens, innit? You live and learn from experiences, and that's all I do is just I just like to learn from experiences mm. and I just keep it moving. And that's why I want you to even drop that jewel for the young ones so they can hopefully mm. learn from our mistakes. That's mm. well done, yeah. reason why I ask, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so, anything yeah. more to ask, Didi? No, nah, I'm good. You good? Anything you want the people to know? Um, that yeah, you... just look out for some more music, um, some enlightening music, more enlightening music. Car, yeah, it's, I, I'm not a, I'm not a driller, I don't. Do this stuff So you know I just talk about What I'm going through And what my life's about And what I see Forward For And that's why we call that Real rap people. Real yeah. rap <laughs> Real rap I'm not trying to I'm not trying to tell you Be in the trenches And do all this 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 I don't know That's just not my message So mm. Mm. Just, what, what made you choose That way to write When enough people Want to talk about You know You know like yeah, negative yeah. But what made you want to your um, your outlook, um, perspective, and most probably be even more positive. That I just yeah, like I said, I just want to, um, if I can, just send a message and hopefully make somebody learn from something I put in one of my one of my songs or um, just uh, learn from an experience you hear through my song. Like if that can you know send a message or change someone's day, then mm. you know, that's that's that I'm good with that. My brother, um, Didi, had the um, perfect, he asked um, this question to the guest um, last week, but I mm. think it's a perfect kind of question that should be asked to every guest. Like, what was your purpose for rapping? Purpose. That's At first, it was just, I want to be a rapper. Entertainment, and I just wanted to perform. I wanted to be on stage in front of people. I wanted that buzz. Then, obviously, learning in life, growing it just got to a point where I want to put a message across. Yeah. I just mm. want to, I want to put a message across a positive message mm. instead of maybe such a negative one, because there's times when I, I, I was pushing a um, negative message because that's what, you know, I just felt like I needed to fit in. And it's certain things that I was going through, mm. like for real, for real, like we was going through stuff on the street. So when we're rapping about it, the emotions there but it's like if I can put it on a hype beat and make some people like it then cool we're gonna do that as well mm. you get it so we're just merging both of the the, the, the incidents mm. but growing now obviously I just wanna um, put out a positive message like I'm grown now I can't be talking about that kind of shit and it's easy to rap about it I can not be doing it and still just rap about it but then I just know I'm pushing that message and I'm just that's just not me mm. I'm just uh, and like you said during the interview, like we could go anywhere. Now mm. it's not like that. What is your outlook on the streets for these young ones coming up? And how do you see it? What do you think about it? It's crazy. Still, it's 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 scary for it's, it's scary when I think about it. Like, oh, you can't go to the shop like just there, <laughs> and it's like. How like how does that feel for them? Like they they must be suffering from crazy anxiety and all type of things because how can you not be able to just go to like just <laughs> <It's mad. Yeah. laughs> like, man can't walk from the hill. I don't get it. Like, you got me down you there. Go shop. 
Like that, crazy. that's crazy to me. Like I don't understand all that. Mm. Like you're putting yourself in a prison anyway. And obviously not to say you have to stay there, but then when you go out, there's a risk of you just losing your whole life. So you either put yourself in a, a, a prison in your own environment or go and potentially lose your life. So it's just like, I don't, under, I, it's crazy. I don't, mm. I, don't, I don't understand that mentality. Mm. Yeah, last one before we go. Do you think there's any measures that we could take to fix the problem? <sighs> I'm not sure. Or is it too late? You think it's too late? And do you think I PDC think, was a part of I the problem? The, of course. Of course. Openly, mm. admittingly, like I just said, we was portraying a negative message at a stage. Mm. But then even so, I can say it wasn't fully just violence. Mm. It was violence with, like, on the road to progression. Mm. And we used to, we, we was kind of explaining what we're trying to be on the road to here. But mm. this is what you're making us have to do to get here because you're not, Giving yeah. us certain you things, can't you're not not allowing us certain either, doors. You're, yeah, you can't. you're not allowing mm. us to do certain things. So this mm. is what we have to do in order to get here. Mm. Obviously, when we got there, everybody wasn't on mm. just being there and okay, this is where we've got to now. Stop all the street mm. shit. Mm. So man still wanted to do 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 road and that and do the street thing. So it was like cool. Mm. Mm. I mean, I was in and out of both. Mm. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and lie. Mm. I was, I was, I was like, mm. oh, I didn't want to stop doing this street and come saying, right, to make money, but I need mm. to. So it was like, mm. even that within itself is a fight, man. Yeah. But even like you said, that it was bare negative or whatever you was portraying negative stuff in the beginning. But in the end, it's not that because bros do enough positive things yeah. in the community, so, so it's done the full flip. You know mm. what I'm saying? So. Just got to big up the whole movement, PDC, you know what I'm saying? Big up Nigel Soul, Sonny's brother. Big up everyone Fals, in the PDC, you know, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Bear love, love for coming down. Appreciate it, my brother. No problem. Nothing bro. but love, man. Seriously, and I can't wait to hear the new music, love. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Nigel Soul's in the building. I'm here with my co <laughs> co-host, you know what I'm saying? Yes, he is. The boy yeah. Didi, you get me? A.K.A. The people's Small. choice of voice. Let's go. You know it is, man. Big up the other co-host, Jabba Jones, who's not here today. You know what I'm saying? I, I am Millie Wayne. You know who I am already. Still sitting me when I pass, and it's just like that free smoke. Uh -huh. Blow. Free smoke. Tell him I'm straight. I'm talking things. Tell him I'm straight. I'm talking things. On things. On things. On things. Where my, where my bands? Don't need me friends. Can't see no lands. Yeah, bitch. We screaming out here. Free smoke. We giving out.